Ever wondered how to hand weed aloe vera plants? The art of hand weeding is an essential aspect of maintaining the health and vitality of your aloe vera plants. Just as we humans need a clean environment to thrive, so do our green companions. Weeds, these uninvited guests, can compete with your aloe vera for essential nutrients, water, and sunlight, hindering their growth and potentially leading to a poor yield. They may also harbor pests and diseases, posing another threat to your plants. The practice of hand weeding is not merely about removing these intruders, it's a method of nurturing, of ensuring that your aloe vera plants have the best conditions to flourish. It's a testament to the saying that good things come to those who wait and to those who weed. With the right techniques, hand weeding aloe vera can be a simple and enjoyable task. Stay with us to learn more about these techniques in the upcoming scenes. Before we start, ensure we have the right tools on hand. The first and foremost tool we need is a pair of gardening gloves. Not only do these gloves protect our hands from dirt and potential thorns, but they also provide a good grip, making the weeding process much easier and safer. Next, we need a hand weeder, a small but mighty tool that is essential for removing those stubborn weeds. The hand weeder allows us to get right to the root of the weed, ensuring its complete removal. Finally, we'll need a bucket or a garden waste bag. This is where we will collect and dispose of the pulled weeds, keeping our workspace clean and tidy. Each of these tools plays a crucial role in the hand weeding process, making it more efficient and effective. Now that we have our tools ready, we can get started with the weeding process. The first step in hand weeding is identifying the weeds. Now the world of weeds is vast, but let's focus on those frequently found amidst aloe vera plants. One common culprit is the crabgrass, a stubborn weed that's ready to spring up anywhere. It has a sprawling growth habit, often forming dense mats. Its leaves are broad and short, a stark contrast to the slender upright leaves of the aloe vera. Next, we have the dandelion. This weed is easily identifiable by its bright yellow flowers and its leaves are jagged, unlike the smooth edges of aloe vera leaves. Then there's the clover, often mistaken for a harmless plant. Its three leaflets and white or pink flowers can be a giveaway. Remember, aloe vera plants don't have flowers that resemble clover blooms. Lastly, we can't forget the purslane. It's a succulent weed that might trick you because of its similarity to aloe vera. However, its leaves are round and smooth, unlike the pointed ridge-like leaves of aloe vera. Now that you know what to look for, how do you distinguish between a weed and a healthy aloe vera plant? Well, the key lies in observation. Aloe vera plants have a distinct appearance with their thick, succulent leaves that grow in a rosette pattern. The leaves are often a vibrant green or gray-green and may have slight spotting. Contrastingly, most weeds have thinner, less structured leaves and lack the unique rosette pattern of growth. Also, aloe vera leaves have a unique toothed edge. Weeds, on the other hand, have a range of leaf shapes and sizes, but none mimic the aloe vera's characteristic toothed edge. Remember, the healthier your aloe vera plant is, the less likely it is to be mistaken for a weed. So keep your plants well nourished and hydrated. Once you've successfully identified the weeds, you're ready to start the actual weeding process. So grab your gloves and tools and let's dive into the next part of our journey in maintaining a weed-free aloe vera garden. Now let's dive into the hand weeding process. Weeding is indeed a labor-intensive task, but the rewards are well worth the effort. So let's break down the process into simple, easy-to-follow steps. First things first, you need to identify the weeds amongst your aloe vera plants. Remember from our previous discussion how to spot them? Yes, that's right, they are the uninvited guests that are taking up space and nutrients meant for your aloe vera plants. Next, gently grasp the weed near the base, as close to the root as possible. This will give you the best chance of removing the entire weed root and all. Be careful not to damage your aloe vera plants in the process. Weeds can be stubborn, so be patient and persistent. Now, slowly and firmly pull the weed out of the ground. The aim here is to remove the weed in one piece with the root intact. If the root breaks off and stays in the ground, it could potentially grow back, and we certainly don't want that. Sometimes the soil may be hard or compact, making it difficult to pull out the weed. In such scenarios, you can use a hand trowel or a weeding fork to loosen the soil around the weed. Then try pulling the weed out again. Weeds tend to spread their seeds far and wide. Therefore, once you've pulled out a weed, make sure to dispose of it properly away from your garden. 
composting is a great way to utilize the organic matter in the weeds, but only do this if you're sure the weed has not gone to seed. While weeding, keep an eye out for any signs of disease or pests on your aloe vera plants. Early detection can save your plants and prevent the spread of any potential problems. Hand weeding is not a one-time task. It's an ongoing process. Regular weeding, ideally once a week, will help keep the weeds in check. This way, your aloe vera plants can have the space and nutrients they need to thrive. It's important to note that weeding is best done when the soil is moist, like after a rain or irrigation. This is because the moisture makes the soil softer, thus making it easier to pull out the weeds. However, be careful not to overwater your aloe vera plants as they prefer dry conditions. Last but not least, always wear a good pair of gardening gloves while weeding. Not only will this protect your hands from any potential cuts or scrapes, but it will also give you a better grip on the weeds. Weeding may not be the most glamorous part of gardening, but it's a crucial one. It may be hard work, but the sight of your healthy, thriving aloe vera plants will make it all worthwhile. And that's how you effectively hand weed your aloe vera plants. After weeding, it's crucial to provide proper care to your aloe vera plants. Now that you've cleared the unwanted weeds from your aloe vera garden, it's time to focus on the aftercare. This phase is just as important as the weeding itself, if not more. Let's start with watering. Aloe vera plants are succulents, native to arid regions, and they're adapted to store water within their thick, fleshy leaves. That's why they don't need a lot of watering. Overwatering, in fact, can be detrimental, leading to root rot and other diseases. The thumb rule is to water the plants thoroughly but infrequently. Wait until the soil has dried out completely before watering again, typically once every two weeks. Next, let's talk about sunlight. Aloe vera plants love the sun, but they're not so fond of scorching heat. Ideally, these plants should receive about six to eight hours of indirect sunlight each day. If you're growing your aloe vera indoors, place them near a south or west facing window. If they're outdoors, make sure they're in a location that gets filtered sunlight or morning sun and afternoon shade. Finally, let's touch on fertilizing. Aloe vera plants generally don't require much fertilizing, but an occasional boost can help them grow stronger. Use a water-soluble balanced houseplant fertilizer diluted to half the recommended strength. Fertilize your aloe vera plants once in the spring and once in the summer, but avoid fertilizing in the winter when the plants are dormant. Remember, caring for aloe vera plants after weeding is not a one-time task. It's an ongoing process. Monitor your plants regularly. Look out for signs of pests or diseases and adjust your care routine as needed. With the right post-weeding care, your aloe vera plants will thrive and grow stronger. So don't just stop at weeding. Nourish your aloe vera plants with the right care and they'll reward you with their lush green beauty and myriad health benefits. Let's quickly recap the steps we've covered for hand weeding aloe vera. We began with an introduction to aloe vera and the importance of hand weeding for its healthy growth. After that, we discussed the necessary tools you'll need, including a good pair of gardening gloves and a sturdy, sharp weeding tool. Then, we dove into identifying weeds in your aloe vera garden. Remember, the earlier you spot them, the better. We then walked through the hand weeding process, emphasizing the importance of gentleness to avoid damaging the aloe vera roots. After weeding, we didn't just stop there. We also covered the crucial post-weeding care. This includes watering, fertilizing, and monitoring your plants to ensure they recover well. The journey to a healthy aloe vera garden may seem daunting, but with patience and regular care, it's absolutely achievable. Remember, regular hand weeding and post-weeding care can significantly improve the health and growth of